hello everyone you're welcome back to my channel my name is Dre white thank you so much for stopping by so in today's video i am going to be doing what showing you the concluding part of our drafted out crop box shirts with a notched collar so here is what we have this is our pattern in our previous video we drafted out this pattern that you are seeing here so but in today's video i'm going to be showing you what the process of how to sew this crop box shirt with a notched collar so this is the fabric i'm working with i am going to go ahead and cut it out on my fabric so this is what we have after placing my pattern on my fabric i've gone ahead to cut it out for the front and for the back so here is the collar that we are going to be using so you are going to cut two pieces of it for this collar and don't forget to add your seam allowance around this collar that you are working with so this is the front part of our fabric so what i did here is that after cutting it out the front part i went ahead to slash my pattern to cut out facing for the front so this is the facing that i have cut out so this is the back i placed it on fold so the back is not going to be having any joining so i cut it on fold so i'm going to open it up so that you see what the back is looking like yes so this is what your back is going to look like after cutting it what out so now at this point what we are going to do we're going to start putting what piece by piece together so i'm going to place the front on the back this way and i'm going to go ahead and join the shoulder using half an inch so after joining the shoulder this is what we have can you see it so next thing i'm going to do i'm going to get the facing remember you're going to be using same fabric and you can still go ahead and use a different fabric for the facing so now what we are going to do with this facing is that i am going to be sewing the hem of this word shirt so but before i do that i am going to fold in remember this is not going to be having a lining to it this is just a simple crop box shirt so i'm going to go ahead and fold it so after folding it this is what we have and i joined it at the hem so this is what you are going to have after joining it so now i'm going to be joining the sides remember i've added my allowance so i'm going to use what one inch was what i added for the same allowance so i'm going to go ahead and join the side so after joining the side is when we'll be folding the hem so at this point i've gone ahead to fold the hem can you see it allowance i added was just 1.5 inch allowance for the hem so i've gone ahead to fold the hem and this is what our shirt is looking like so now the next thing we are going to do at this point is to attach the collar to it so what you are going to do is to fold the back to get your center back the center point at the back so i've done that already and i notched it on the collar i folded the collar into two and notched the midpoint and the shirt as well i folded the back into two and i notched it so i'm going to place both notches together and i'm going to go ahead and use my pin to just do what pin it down so at this point you'll be working with your pins so i'm going to go ahead and pin it from one end to the other end i'm just going to go ahead and take my time and carefully what pin it so that they align together so after pinning it i'm going to place the facing for the front this is when i'm going to turn it to the back and do what pin it as well so you're going to carefully do this so that you'll be able to do what stitch properly or need so now whatever i did on one side i'm going to be doing it on the other side i'll just use half an inch to do what sew it down the seam allowance is half an inch so as you are sewing when you get to the midpoint you take it to the other side again and pin it and sew the other side as well okay guys so after sewing it this is what your shirt is going to look like i've gone ahead to sew it down another thing is i did is that i went ahead to use my overlocking machine to weave on the sides that are what rough so i weaved the neckline and i weaved what the side as well so after weaving on it another thing i did is that i went ahead to give it a good press most especially the lapel area you are going to what, give it a good press so that it relaxes very well so the fabric i'm working with is actually stretchy and silky sort of so i'm just trying to arrange it so that you see what this shirt crop shirt is looking like so this is what your shirt is going to look like when you are done with all these processes so this is how your lapel should look like and you just go ahead and add your fastener to it so this is the sleeve i am going to be attaching is a short sleeve so i've already have a video on my channel on how you can cut and sew a sleeve so i'm not going to be going over it again so i'm just going to go ahead 
and attach the sleeve round to the armhole and when i'm done i'm going to show you what the shirt is looking like all right guys so this is what our crop box shirt with a notch color is looking like can you see how neat and lovely it is looking so this is how yours should look like when you are done making it can you see it this is actually very easy and simple to make within a space of an hour or less you are done making this crop box shirt so guys this is it i love the outcome of this two piece so guys please if you find this tutorial helpful don't forget to hit on that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. Like and share this video, make your comment. Till our next tutorial again, we'll be doing something else. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.